Well, hey there. Every week, our team at burns o -Matic gets all sorts of questions about proper torch usage. Sometimes we hear that a torch seems to have lost its spark, but there are ways to get it to ignite again. So how about some quick tips to help you out? Ignition troubles can be caused by a blockage in the burn tube, or if the ignition wire is knocked out of place. Here are some easy tests you can perform to see what's up. First, let's see if the torch is still producing a spark. Remove the cylinder from the torch and unscrew the burn tip from the torch. Then press the ignition button and look for a spark from the igniter wire to the burn tube. So what do you do if there's no spark? Couple of simple steps. First, take a piece of sandpaper or a file and clean the tip of the ignition wire. Be careful not to trim the wire or damage the insulation and clean the top of the burn tube. Next, position the ignition wire so that it's approximately one eighth of an inch away from the burn tube wall and click the trigger button and check for a spark. Don't forget to keep the torch disconnected from the fuel during this check. If the torch sparks, voila! Replace the burn tip and it's ready to use. But what if the torch sparks, but the problem persists? Check the burn tube to see if something is lodged inside. The most common things we see are a drip of solder or a spider web. I like to use a small pipe cleaner or brush. I clean and blow out the tip along the front and back of the burn tube. Be careful not to break the ignition wire that runs through the burn tube. If that gets damaged, the igniter will not work. Sometimes a small spider nest behind the igniter wire causes a deflection of the gas, those pesky spiders. Replace the tip of your torch and you should be good to go. After conducting either of these fixes and every time you use your torch, conduct a leak test using one of the many methods. You should conduct this test in a well-ventilated and spark-free area with no open flames. Never use a flame to check for leaks. With the torch valve open, without lighting, you can test by applying soapy water to the torch connections, or using a wide paintbrush at the connection points to see if it bubbles. If they do, gas is leaking. Try replacing your cylinder with a new one and conducting the test again. If leaks are still present, it's time to replace your torch. If there are no leaks, you're good to go. Hopefully these quick tips will get you back to your project. But if trouble persists, burns o -Matic is here to help. Contact the customer care team for additional troubleshooting assistance or to see if your torch is under warranty. Now get out there and find your fire.